on the spotlight. What can I really say? Well then, if a toast is what you all desire, then a toast I shall give. (laughs) Where to start? Today has been incredible. In all of my years, I never thought I would marry someone so incredible. My love, you are mesmerizing. Every little part of you makes my heart flutter. And I can't get over it. Seeing you, hearing you, feeling you near me. To lose you would be a travesty. And I know we promise till death do us part. But I promise to find you in every lifetime after. Because the truth is, is my soul is so bonded to you that I couldn't... I couldn't live in another life without you. I really do thank everyone here for being here. I know the wedding was a a little last minute, but I just couldn't hold back. I needed to marry this man. He's all I've ever wanted. He's all I've ever needed. And I'm so honored to be spending this night, this amazing night with his family as well. Please, have a great night, everyone. Enjoy the festivities. Let loose a little. Go crazy, I suppose we could all say. Come here. Hey, do you want to sneak out of here for a bit? It's been hours. I am exhausted. Tell me about it. Seriously, though, can we just take a minute to go and be alone for a second? Come on. (laughs) Shh. Careful, you don't want them seeing you. Be quiet. <laughs> shh, shh. Sorry, I've had a bit to drink. Oh, God, that crisp air is amazing. My voice is honestly going. I have been talking all day at this event. I feel like I'm already dying. Uh, I normally don't ever talk to people this much. (laughs) Are you doing okay? I know you're stressed. This is stressful, to say the least. But I'm happy to be spending it here with you. You're not overwhelmed? Can I ask you a genuine question? Do you think your family likes me? Like, I don't have anyone to really invite. 
I think they find that really weird. You know? Have no family. Everyone's gone. Kind of heartbreaking. I really wish you could have met them. My mother was incredible. She was a beautiful woman. What happened? Back and around. Oh, I don't even know. What was it? What year was it? Maybe the late 1800s to the early 1900s. They, uh, they burned her alive. My kind wasn't really accepted back then. I don't really know what to say to you, you know? They put it through witchcraft, not being a vampire. It was... I had to watch. But I couldn't do anything. Well, it's not like I'm like the strongest of my kind. There's a whole council. If I was to step in and show that we were vampires, my whole family would have been wiped out. Not just her. So she pled for witchcraft. Took the fall for everyone else. It wasn't even her fault that we got caught. It was my father. He was a fool. He was an idiot. I hated him. He was a cruel, cruel man. He was really cruel. But she loved him. She was an angel. If you could even call a vampire that, but truly, she gave everything, everything she was to others, even if it left her broken. She taught me as a little girl not to go that deep into the giving pool, I suppose. All in the past, though, right? I've, in all my many years of living my love, I have learned that you cannot hold the past. You cannot be weighed down by everybody else's mistakes. You only live once, and honestly, I don't have the energy for that pain. Or that anguish anymore. I've went for it for centuries. <sighs> the best way I can describe it is I learned to heal. To accept and learn from my past and evolve from it. Not be held back from it. Everything's a learning experience. Truly. I am a little worried. I'm sorry, but I am. Nothing like this ever goes to plan. Nothing is ever this good. It always comes crashing down. If I've learned anything, it's history always repeats itself. smells incredible out here, doesn't it? The nature, the breeze, the wind. It really does remind me of home. Well, before I moved over here. Today really has been a perfect day. Your mother didn't say anything weird, right? She didn't like well, your family doesn't know what I am, and they can't. You're marrying me now, I know, right? But no one can know that you know either. It puts me at risk. Because they might expect me to turn you. Most likely. There's rules against these things. I can play it off for a long time convince them that you know you're not you're just oblivious to it all you're naive whatever 
I can convince them of that. But that will only go so far. I told you about all this before, but I'll protect you with my dying breath, I promise. <sighs> What's on your mind? That's expected. <laughs> well, not much else that can be done. We should probably get back to this grand party, shouldn't we? Honestly, I can't be bothered. I prefer just to have a moment with you. No more speeches and dancing and bullshit. Ugh, it's exhausting. You're telling me? Look at the dress I have to wear. And the heels are killing me. Oh my god, they're killing me. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hey, I'd switch with you. You really want to do this? You wouldn't last five minutes in my stilettos. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Please. You'd have these things wrecked within, like, two minutes. Uh, are you challenging me? Oh, you better not, I swear. I couldn't wear those things. They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a clown trying to walk around. Of course I would. <laughs> uh, we'll save that for a night out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you crack me up so much, I swear. Come here. Mm. Don't worry, I don't bite hard. <laughs> God, I love you more than anything in this world. It scares me, honestly. It's terrifying loving someone. It's like giving you a loaded gun and aiming it right at my heart. Or someone else has it and they decide which one of us they don't want around hey I mean if you really want me to uh, hey, I'll bridal style carry you into the house <laughs> to her honeymoon suite <laughs> of course I would it'd be funny and you're cute like that <laughs> God, I love you. I can't actually believe that we're married. <sighs> to think we really made it. We're really here, married, and about to live out the rest of our life. Are you not scared? Well, we do have problems to face. You know, like, for starters. <sighs> There's just a lot going on. You know? We knew we were getting into all this bullshit when we started, but... I'm gonna outgrow you. Not in that way, but, like, age-wise... You know, or wait, would that be the other way around? You outgrow me because I never grow old and you will. Oh, well, you get it. <laughs> but your family are going to notice. 
it's not like you can just cut them off and never talk to them again. I just, I'm worried. To be completely honest with you, I am terrified of losing you. I don't want to lose you. More than anything in this world. I couldn't bear it. That's why I made a decision on something. When the time comes and you're dying of old age and I'm by your side, after you're gone, I'm going to leave with you. Because I can't bear to live in this world without you. I don't want it. I don't. I don't want to be here if you're not here with me. So I'm leaving with you. Oh, I know. Don't cry on your wedding day. Ruin your makeup. But I don't care. I can't bear it. I don't want to be alone again. You're everything to me. I need you to know that. I really do love you. <sighs> Great, they're shouting on us. I think that means it's time for it's time for the dance. Yes. You ready with your two left feet? <laughs> Imagine if we did change shoes. Oh God, this would be a sight to behold. Are you ready, darling? Take my hand. <laughs> of course. Come on. Take my hand. We will enter together, my love. All right, they're all watching us now. Are you ready? It's not like we're doing the waltz or anything. You're fine. You know how to lead, or do you need me to? <laughs> Switch up the roles a little. I trust you. Just lead me. I'll follow your lead. You're doing good. Don't worry. Keep a brave face. Keep smiling. Oh, God, they're all watching us. <laughs> God, you're beautiful. And your beautiful eyes. That intoxicating smile. I promise you one thing. I'm gonna ravage you later. <laughs> Don't fall over now, come on. You're doing so well. <laughs> what the hell? Are you serious right now? What the hell is she talking about? Hey. Who is she? Your ex, werewolf girlfriend, you brought a wet dog to my fucking wedding? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This has gotta be a joke, right? Oh, this is not gonna end well, is it? Did we just ignore? 
ignore. I mean, we could, right? We could just continue dancing and ignore, right? I don't want to have to deal with this because I'll probably rip her fucking head off. Your whole family is watching. They do realize she just screamed she's your ex-werewolf girlfriend, right? Not to mention, she doesn't do a good job at hiding the ears. Oh, great, the wet dog is approaching me. <laughs> Hi there. What the hell are you doing at my wedding? <laughs> Firm grip you've got there. I suggest you leave before I rip your fingers off. I'm not playing, sweetheart. I don't play games like these. You realize this isn't a ceremony, right? You're already too late, little wolf. Run back to your little pack. Or maybe you're just a little lone wolf. Oh, are we growling now? What a shame. You look at him again, and I'll rip your throat out. <laughs> you think I care, little wolf? You're messing with what's mine. You dare disrespect me at my own wedding. Oh, darling, come here. <coughs> Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Of course I dragged you out of there. You're lucky I didn't slap some sense into you. Because I really would have. I'm not in the mood today. I'll make this perfectly clear. You're going to leave him alone.